Viewfinder. Image. Viewfinder. Center of screen. Stop recording. Viewfinder. Image. Speech off. Hi guys, it's the I Like This Kelly, and it's really late. I finally finished washing everything, so I'm going to put my bed together with you guys. This is Get Ready for Bed. And if you like videos like this, then keep watching. Um, at the end of this video, um, you'll get to see like how the bed turned out, how this comforter set completely, completely looked. Um, it's just the comforter and the pillow shams. And then um, if you missed the haul video, the rock haul video before this, um, that was part one, so this is part two, um, where it showed you like all the details about everything. So, basically, I have forgotten that, wow, so I forgot about some stuff I washed from here. Anyways, um, so in that video, I was telling you guys that I got some Nautica pillows and um, evidently they got left at the store and it's raining here in Atlanta. So I didn't feel like going back up there, um, which by the way, you guys, Ross hours are like 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. Like that's their normal hours, guys. Rock is getting to the bag. Um, yeah, I thought because I didn't realize till like seven something um, in the evening that I didn't have my pillows. I was like looking for them to like because I wiped them down and um, I was like, wait a minute even remember them giving them to me when I left the store so anyway um, I thought oh well they're closed now and I called no they weren't they were open till 10 p.m. today so today as in Sunday you guys are probably watching this like Monday on the third um, they probably upload it on the third so guys, I've been over here jamming. Um, I had it's it popped up on my suggested views. Tina Turner's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, she was already in there by way of her career with Ike Turner, her ex-husband. Um, but they did an induction for her. Um, as an independent artist for her career over the last 30 plus years so really um, yeah 36 years so I was curious to see if she was going to perform and um, if she was actually going to be there or whatever but she wasn't she did a recorded um, speech and they played it and everything but, um, you know, the lady's 81 and I don't know when her birthday is. So she might have had a birthday by now. It's only the third day of the year. So by the time y'all are watching this, so maybe not, who knows? But, um, matter of fact, I'm gonna check. You guys know me. I got to check now. I, I brought it up. I got to check. So... Anyways, I wanted to see who was going to perform or if they were even going to do that. And they did. They had some wild cards for the performance. Like, um, they had like Christina Aguilera and H.E.R. When is Tina Turner's birthday? Okay, guys, so, yeah, they, um, so 
wow. Okay, so she's 82. I didn't even know she was a Sagittarius, y'all, but she's 82 and, um... Anyway, so they had some wild cards, if you ask me, performing her songs. I would have thought... I would have thought they would have had, um... Erica Badu, believe it or not. I would have thought they would have had Evie, Evie McKinney. If you don't know who she is, look her up. She's from The Four, that show where um, DJ Khaled and, and Puff Daddy or P. Diddy um, were, were um, judges. And she is phenomenal. That girl knows how to bring down the house. I would have thought they would have had her do some. Um, Pink would have been a good selection. They could have had Erica Badu, um, Evie, Evie McKinney, Pink. Um, who else am I thinking of for a Tina Turner song? For the look, I think Tamia could have pulled a Tina Turner song for us. I think that would have been bomb. Um, let me think of somebody who has strong vocals and great stage presence. And you know what I'm saying? But the people they had was fine. But I was really thrown off. I'm not going to kid y'all. Um... But after that, they pulled up a concert of hers from 1996, guys. Her music, the her band, they are amazing. Definitely, if you like Tina Turner, check her out. Her concert on YouTube from 1996 rocks. I'll share it on my Twitter feed. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you probably already saw it on there. But, um... Her music, the live band is so dope. Um, so yeah. But after that, I ended up watching um, Evie McKinney's performances again from the four competition. And then I found her, um, well, it popped up as a suggestion, her actual YouTube channel. So I subscribed guys that girl rocks if you guys don't know who even if you love like great performers great musicians artists like just great like real singers that girl is everything you need and more she's wonderful she got a great story you know she comes from memphis tennessee um, great family, but the baby can sing. She's the youngest of seven children from one mom and one dad, and her dad was a performer and taught her everything he knows. And um, the girl rocks straight up. She rocks. Okay, this is my pajama shirt smells great can't wait to put it on and so on mm -hmm. then after that okay there was another girl named um liana J. I i think was her name i hope i'm not messing it up but um i want to say her name was liana J. she was 17 coming out of Newark, New Jersey, and I never was, like, a big weekend fan, like, he was super, super hot, he would, people would compare him to, like, Michael Jackson, and all that, and, um, anyway, he has a song called Call Out My Name, and that girl, Lee, Leanna James or Leanna J. She she did his song. 
was super bomb. She did like her own rendition of it, which made it even better because I never heard the song before she performed it. And I was like, who is this girl? It was one of those moments. Like, who is this girl? And uh, it's got like over 700,000 views. It's a great two minutes of time. Um, that's how you know you know somebody is everything when they capture you when that two minutes is like a real moment in time and you're just like okay what who is this yeah she happened to pop up as a suggested as a suggestion as well and um 17 she did some other songs like she did um the best part by h-e-r she did you know like four songs as well um evie mckinney she did um what's the song i never loved the man the way that i love you um she did that she did ain't no sunshine when he's gone she did glory she did um proud mary by tina turner she rocked the house with that one and she performed she just went up there standing singing songs guys well i tell you this girl was up there bringing the house down though i'm talking about going in though Y'all definitely check her out. She is worth your couple minutes. They have they actually have a video that lasts like ten minutes that just plays all her performances back to back. Best ten minutes of your day. You guys, I've been watching when I tell you this is an all day thing. Like, when you decide to clean your house, you better not have to go anywhere. Because you're going to have to really focus on, like, go straight to that store and come right, right back. And have something going while you're gone. Like, have a load washing. Have, you know what I mean? Like, have a game plan. Because though that hour you were gone sets you back. Like, I started to go to Ross. I'm like, no, I'm not going anywhere. It's raining. It's dark. No. Mm -mm. I'll get those pillows tomorrow. Because I forgot my towels anyway. So I was like, I'll just get it all done. At the same time. And that's that. Uh-uh. Y'all, you see me over here trying to find this magical spot oh here it is finally praise the lord i was trying to find the tag so i know what end to put it on y'all this is one of my favorite moments in life is putting my fresh sheets on my bed and getting in there that moment after you've taken that bath are you kidding? That is the best moment ever. You take that wonderful bath, rub down, put all your face creams on, put all your body creams on, get in here, get in the bed, and be sleep. I'll just sleep in like, as soon as I say my prayers, it's over. It is done. The Lord is good to me. I'm sleeping. You see, guys? Oh, yeah. That's why I'm so picky. Like, the hotels I stay at have to have all white linen. And, ha and it just has to be certain hotels. Like, I don't even play with that. I, I got to lay my head down in here. I got to take a bath in here. I gotta put my belongings down in here. Like, I remember one time, 
me and a friend of mine were hanging out for the first time we happened to be in Miami and um my friend was like oh let me let me arrange everything like I got it I'm, I'm gonna surprise you whatever whatever I was like oh and typically if I'm going somewhere in a group situation which I haven't done in a very in years and years um I'm the one arranging everything but period in general I don't even do the whole sharing rooms thing like I don't do it everybody's responsible for their own rooms all that because I'm so picky it's like I don't even got time to discuss it it's not a discussion you know I won't even go like if I have to be sharing or entertaining the idea of sleeping somewhere that I'm not about to sleep at I'll be like oh I can't go so anyway my friend was like oh let me do everything blah 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 so I was like oh okay cool whatever so I kept asking like okay well what did you pick like what's piquing your interest and my friend kept saying like so my friend told me the one place which was a place I've never heard of okay so that's already a red flag right then and there it's like oh you know such and such and such I'm like uh uh send me the link you know I'm like send me the link to this place so sent me the link I called the place no way not only did they not have all white linen they had colored blankets and colorful comfort y'all i was about to run out of town just listening to the mess so i was like oh no way so i called my friend back like no way uh-uh so they're like oh don't worry about it we'll cancel cancel so again okay i found a great place you know um don't worry about it don't worry about it. i was like well what's it called what's the great place called like send me the link you know boom called that was another place never heard of it never heard of it i'm like mm. called them no way their reviews were bad it was kind of like i'm like i don't know what this person's goal is so finally i start asking like how are you finding these places like what are you doing so they were using hotels.com and so i'm like okay they're like well look i really am not good at this i have family in miami so i really don't stay anywhere but with them so you know i was just trying to make things convenient for you i'm like oh no it's not a problem you know I do, you know, stay in hotels when I'm in Miami, so I know where I want to stay. I already know where I am, you know, so it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, they were like, no, I already picked something else, though. I just canceled that one and picked something else. So as soon as I said the name of this particular hotel, I was like, I think I have stayed at this hotel before, and I don't have a good feeling about it. I was like, um, it was near the Aventura Mall. If you guys are familiar with the Miami area, that's like North Miami. And the Aventura Mall is a high-end area. You know, it has Bloomingdale's. It has, you know, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, all that stuff like that is in there. Um, but that doesn't mean all the hotels around there are creme de la creme. Just like over here in Buckhead, we got Lennox and Phipps Plaza, but don't think we don't have um, low-end hotels over here, too. So, guys, anyway, um, so I was like, I think that I have stayed at this hotel before, and I'm pretty sure the fact that I can't remember clearly is a bad sign because when I have bad experiences, I tend to just delete them out my mind. 
and I just know I'll never do it again. So, anyway, my friend's like, no, it's gonna, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You guys, as soon as we got there, I was like, oh my God, this is it. I stayed at this hotel because the first time that I ever stayed in the Aventura Mall area, I stayed at that hotel. And um, I was like, oh my God, this is it. No. So, my friend was like, well, wait, you know, it's late, blah, blah, blah. Don't, you know, let's see this and that. I was like, I'm telling you right now, I'll fly back home. That's how serious. <laughs> That's how serious it is, guys. I'll fly back home before I sleep somewhere that I don't like or feel comfortable. And on top of that, it was like people hanging out, you know. Things have changed. Like, hotels are not hotels anymore. Hotels are home spaces for a lot of people with everything going on in the world today. So, you have to be really mindful about staying different places because it's not, it's not the same. And Miami is a big city with big city problems like every other big city. Now, you guys, this is supposed to be a king size comforter it is a hundred percent polyester i'm trying to just figure out which side needs to be down i feel like the stuffing in here is needs to be fluffed for this corner it's like it's not coming down right anyways guys we're not gonna fidget with that all night because i'm sleepy as i don't know what so anyway Y'all, I kid you not, we were going out. We had reservations for dinner. So, I was like, oh, let's just hurry up. because Let's go eat because I was hungry. And, um, and, you know, let me just get myself together. Guys, when we came back, when we came back to the hotel, the people were still hanging out. And... The whole building smelled like marijuana, pretty much. And um, when I got in the room, so first of all, before I even went to the side that had the beds, which I'll never do that again. Where are my, you know what I'm confused about, guys? Where are my pillow sham? This is how you know it's time for me to go to bed. Because I don't even know where my pillow shams are so I can show you guys. I'm going to show y'all tomorrow. I think they're still... And you know what? How silly. You guys, let me see. So, let me finish telling y'all this because I'm about to go to sleep. Um, Y'all... So I went to take my shower, right? I didn't even fully go in the room, okay? When we first came over there. So when we get to the room immediately, I just want to take my shower. And mind you, this is the same night I'm flying in. So I flew in, you know, now I want to take my shower. Um, all of this. So. These sheets feel super nice, by the way. These Vince Camuto 100% cotton sheets feel so nice. And the, um, the comforter feels super nice, too. So, oh my gosh, guys. There's so much little stuff. I'm getting a new vacuum tomorrow. I'm so happy. Okay. Hold on. Let me tell y'all the rest of this story time real quick. So, comment down below if you happen to see the pillow shims and I threw them somewhere. But, anyways, guys. So, um, what the 
what the heck happened. So, basically, I'm going to take my hair down for you guys because i got to put some oil in it anyway. And let's see what it ended up looking like. So, the hallway was blazing. Okay, got in the room. I didn't even go to the side where the beds were. I just immediately grabbed my bag, which was by the door, and started getting ready to take my bath. So, my friend had started running the water for me, you know, helping me out, telling me where stuff was in there, and that was cool. I get in there, you guys. I'm t taking a shower. The water was filling up in the tub. So, if there was a backup plumbing issue, I'm like, ugh, this is kind of gross. But... I'm turning the um trying to turn the dial so I could like see if the water's gonna drain out or if I maybe the stopper went down. So maybe I need to pull that up. Y'all the metal around the water options was just like swirling around, it was coming off. Guys, it was just, I was freaking out. I started screaming for my friend like, oh my God, come in here. Why is the water about to start flooding in here? And this and that. God, I was getting so grossed out. You don't even understand. So anyway, um, when I went over there, so I'm calling for my friend, calling for my friend. They're not saying anything. So I come out the um bathroom. They are knocked out sleep. So I'm like, oh, wow, you couldn't hear me screaming? <laughs> so they're like, no. So in the meanwhile, I'm telling them what was going on in there. And then I look at my bed. Y'all ready for this? This is that dun 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 where your eyes start dilating. Y'all, I go to my bed. I kid you not. There were no sheets on the bed and the brown blanket was on the fitted sheet. So there was just like one fitted sheet on there, no flat sheet, a brown blanket, and then like a colored comforter. Y'all, you talking about somebody crying? You, I'm talking about a grown woman, me, in there like... Oh no, I cannot do guys. I was having an OCD moment. Oh Lord. You guys, we were out of there. Do you understand me? I was like, are you crazy? Do you know they don't wash these blankets? Nor do they wash these comforters. Like, why would you? I mean, I'm going off. I'm like, I have a severe smoke allergy. This and that, like I cannot do stuff like this. I mean, when I tell you went into full blown, I just take me back to the airport. That <laughs> just take me back to the airport, okay? I cannot do it. I'm not made for it. Sorry, not sorry. Guys, we went down there, complained, they apologized, they gave us the money back. Tell me why. I called the Hilton downtown Miami. They had a hundred and sixty nine dollar rate per night, and and that hotel was the same price. Okay, guys, we were out of there, and then my friend was like, "Oh my God, I should have just let you do everything. This is so nice." And they had changed. So with my friend being from Miami, then they knew like all the history. So, the Hilton downtown Miami, originally it was a mall, a very popular high-end mall, like 25 years ago, that the Hilton ended up taking over and renovating and making it into its own, you know, hotel. And so then they have their restaurant in there, they have a rooftop pool in there. Um, they have several event venues like while we were staying there there was a um watch show so for persons who own like high-end jewelry stores um um or even watch stores um they had you know things like the paddock and the um rolex and cartier like whatever you could think of whatever 
high-end you know they had that for sale so you could get them at a wholesale rate and then they had like limited edition pieces whereas a collection that maybe only 10 watches were made they had some of those you could purchase that you know or if you were shopping like for a client that had a specific taste or you know they were looking for something that it was super nice it was super nice they had a gift shop in there I mean it was nice it was really close to the beach which I loved um we end up going uh so I didn't know DJ Khaled has his own restaurant down there as well as um what's the other guy's name trick daddy he has a restaurant down there and I want to say Rick Ross as well it was like three or to four different restaurants my friend was telling me about so we end up eating um at one of their restaurants I don't remember the one but it was nice I had like red snapper as usual you guys know I love red snapper I had that and uh, you know all the other things and so um anyway here's my hair guys so this is what day five hair I think I started on my hair on Tuesday it's Sunday so Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday yeah this is day five hair and this is with me having corn rolled it on Saturday I corn rolled it with you guys on Saturday and I left it corn roll all this time and this is what I was talking about where my hair comes out with the body waves and all I did was put the oil in it and then just corn roll it real tight though and then I just wrapped it up and then um for the ends to stay smooth like and kind of like a bump to them I just took my scrunchie and so I curled like kind of like rolled the ends up into that little loop you could see it when I was making the bed you could see like how I have my scrunchie with my braids rolled up so this is a quick hairstyle for me like if it was early in the day and I had my hair like this which I probably will have my hair like this later today as in Monday when you guys see me back at Ross and Marshall's um it'll just stay like this and then as the day goes it may it depends on the weather too like if it's rainy like it was today then it'll the, the waves will start loosening more and more and it'll start thickening up more and more and um but by the time it starts getting out of control i'll be back in the house and i'll just put oil in it and then re-corn roll it and i'm finished so this is one of the many ways i get out of using heat in my hair and being able to have you know a nice desirable look healthy hair um you know and i can have like a nice little style that is effortless you know it's an effortless style looks nice you know rock the waves you know i love it cali girl forever always think about that water sun right all of that okay guys so i'll see y'all in my next clip in my next video um i'm just gonna corn roll my hair back up and take my bath and be knocked out so i guess this is get ready for bed with me yeah this is get ready for bed with me and this is the part two to the ross hall part one video don't forget to like share comment subscribe and let me know if you did something new to your bedroom for the new year on um, what you did with your bathroom and i'll definitely post pictures of the final um look of the bed with the decorative pillow in the center and the pillow shams and all that when i go get my other set of pillows and then i'll take a picture and let you guys see what the shower um curtain with the rugs look like and all of that guys so and i'll probably do another haul anyway so later on today you'll see the haul of what towels i found the prices and everything like that i always buy white towels no matter what 
um, I will be looking for a couple of black um, towels because I like to use those for like when I'm doing my hair um, so I'll look for that and I'm going to be getting a vacuum today so let's keep our fingers and toes crossed for me to find a really good vacuum I actually am gonna look in Ross and Marshall's while I'm over there in home goods to see if they actually have vacuums I always just go to Target or Walmart to get a vacuum I never think about anybody else or Kohl's I do think about Kohl's actually I might go to Kohl's because I have Kohl's rewards so that might happen I'll look I'll call them in the morning and I'll look on their website and see they may be having a sale on vacuums but honestly let me tell you guys something the least expensive on um, the vacuum the better they've worked for me over the years like I had purchased a Hoover vacuum for $27 out of Con's appliances in Texas forever ago that was the best vacuum I've ever had to this day but whenever I move I throw all that stuff away I get new brush I get new shampooers new vacuum new you know broom mop everything I get all that stuff new um so I don't know that's one of those things I wish to God you know maybe I could have just sent it somewhere to clean get it cleaned real good like a deep clean and just kept it because it was so good um then before that I was always true to dirt devils and I'm talking about the least expensive one the one that's like 40 something dollars those work really good I never had an issue out of them um but after that like anything else I've bought it's not been great experience at all I forget what vacuum I have right now I think it's a black and decker or something like that I don't like it it hasn't been good to me over here um I had like some bizzles like different people have different reviews on them right now they some people swear they're great 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 um I had some like 15 years ago I didn't like it um i tried the shark um the shark brand that's supposed to be really good when you have dogs so you could get the pet hair out the carpet and all that um if you guys looked at my at my picture from today that i posted on um on ig i'm not sure if you can see my carpet in there but i hope you can't but if you can then you can see like where because I literally have to like pick up things off of the carpet like go through my carpet first I really if I had a larger place I would this would be the kind of place where I would sweep my carpet first and then vacuum it so because it's just that kind of carpet it's like that kind of rolly kind of carpet where you need to sweep it in order to deep clean it and then vacuum it so anyways guys that's what's going on um today is a power day the first monday of the year um definitely um got my whole agenda mapped out i wrote down my notes my checklist you know all that to get done so definitely gotta get it step one to a power day is get some great rest have peace about it do your best and make peace that your best is more than enough and then pick up where you left off the next day guys so anyway i have enjoyed this time together gave y'all a little story time talked about my little do's and don'ts of um of hotel stays so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video. Speech on. Stop recording video.